Hello and welcome back guys. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are here with a new mock up. As usual, we are trying to bring something unique for you all, yet that is simple. So today our object is a tea bag pouch. To download the PSD file of this mock up, you can go and check in the link that is provided in the description box below. So for today, let's now start. Firstly, take the paint tool and zoom in by pressing Ctrl plus and then Select the points, uh, the whole pouch roughly, you know, as usual, we do the uh, points roughly uh, that is done in this part. No need to make the curves prominent in this step because we will do that in the later part. So just take the shape, select the shape roughly and before uh, I will just decrease the opacity. To make sure that I can see the points clearly when I'm selecting them. So later you can adjust the opacity too. Now we will take we will take add anchor point tool and we will select the curved parts and make them very fine and prominent. Alright all the curves that are visible there and we that we couldn't take in the first step we will be selecting them right now and make them look realistic okay for this step you have to be very very careful so that you do not select some excess parts or some less parts so that it won't look realistic you know so do as fine as the tuning you can You can add as many points as you want. Just make sure that you take all the curves. And create the shape just like the pouch that is provided. Or you have chosen. It depends on the subscribe. Depends on the situation. Now, after we are done with the shape, we will take a rectangle tool. We will and then we will change the color make sure the rectangle covers the whole pouch we will just change the color just so it is easier for us to understand and then pressing right click on it we will convert it to smart object and then we will decrease the opacity so that we can see the pouch packet through it now after that we will select again press right clicking on it you will just select the desert option and then adjust the points of the rectangle and then again by clicking one more time you will select the wrap option uh, after you do the fine tuning and all it will look very realistic and uh, you know very uh, hugging for the pouch After you are done with the base, we'll just press on the right. Now, the shape we had created, we will select that layer and then we will take add anchor point tool. We'll take the option and then we will select make selection. All right. And then we'll press OK. So as you see, the pouch is selected now and then we will mask the smart object and delete the previous shape because we do not need it anymore and after we have done the masking we don't need the um, shape anymore so now the design we had already chosen we will just take it drag and drop it on our smart object and adjust its size all right After you are done with the design, just save the uh, picture or else the picture won't be updated. And after you have done it in the PSD file, uh, select the mask option and then press Ctrl. Actually, alright, pressing Ctrl, select the masking part and then press Ctrl J so that you get the two copies of it. Alright, basically. 
you will get three copies of uh, this shape and then we will name them as light shadow and midtone then we will switch off the light and midtone and then we will convert the shadow layer from normal to multiply then we will switch on midtone and then we will convert it to linear dodge add from normal all right and then we will press ctrl l and adjust the levels okay as you see this seems like a burning effect too much light is there so we will adjust the darkness and lighting and after you are satisfied we will just press ok and then again we will switch on the light layer and then we will convert it to normal to screen ok and then again similarly press ctrl L and open the levels and adjust them till you are satisfied and then when you are done press ok and after you are done as you can see the whole lighting effect is there and it looks a little realistic we will change the layers names according to your preferences i am writing your design so that when you download this phd file absolutely for free no charge cost uh, so when you download them you will be able to understand that where you have to place your design and how you have to do in all now we will just select the background and then by separating it from the background we'll just uh, convert it to linear burn from normal so that it gets the natural effect it gets the realistic effect you can just uh, change the color if you want and that's it for today thanks for watching hope you have enjoyed and do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel